We have people from approximately 50 different countries living in this very small village type setting and everybody living in Mosni would be asylum seekers. Everywhere from Argentina all the way across to Russia, you know, and most of the African countries, Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, just endless number. The children who are coming from war-tour zones and who have been through horrific circumstances, they would see Mosni as their home, their only home. You know what it means for you to leave everything you have as a human being, for you to leave your family, to leave your childhood, memories, everything, and you came to a country where you are a total stranger to start life all over again. We were living in fear, you know, because we knew that anything can happen. So many people were being deported, and you are not different from them, you know. So the same letter can come to your doorstep any moment, and then you're going to Africa without anybody knowing. It's like a waiting room. People see it as a waiting room somewhere that you're, you're just passing through. But unfortunately, if you're passing through over a period of two or three, four or five years, it can be... People assume they're going to be here for a very short time, but in fact, it can be a lot longer. We have people here that don't know if their families are dead or alive, so it's as raw as that, basically.